The coronavirus strain, known as this Delta variant, um, we've been talking about it a lot in the news, so I'm sure you're up to date and up to speed on this. It's now rapidly spreading, of course, around the world. It originated in, first identified rather, in India, but now it is here and it's kicking in the U.S. Dr. Amy Edwards, who is an infectious disease specialist with UH Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital, has kept us informed throughout the pandemic and is here this morning with more on this latest mutation of the virus. Dr. Edwards, it's so good to see you. It's great to see We've you guys been in person. With you I know for it's, so long. Vaccines are awesome, right? We can all be here together now. It's amazing. <laughs> it really, truly is. Yeah. We never thought it would be this long. Of I know. A year and a half. I know. Um, but it's it's great to see you here live in person. So Thank thanks you. for helping us stay calm, but yet stay informed, and that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about this new variant, this Delta variant. As I mentioned a second ago, first identified in India, mm -hmm. um, but it is here in every state in the mm -hmm. United States. It's global now. Yes. So is it's it's the same symptoms as regular COVID and run those down again uh, what those are. Right. So yes, it's still COVID. Um, so cough, difficulty breathing, loss of smell and taste, fever, headache, fatigue, the usual stuff that we've been talking Congestion about. Congestion too, we were hearing, mm -hmm. can be part of it. I mean, just Absolutely. kind of overall cold symptoms, right. right? It's a respiratory virus like, like any other. But is this more deadly? Is this potentially putting more people in the hospital than the regular COVID? So, you know, that's an interesting question. It, it's not clear if it's more deadly. It does appear to be more contagious, yes. which is a problem because, mm -hmm. you know, we talk about masking, we talk about social distancing, we talk about the vaccine. The Delta variant does appear to have some ability to get around some of those safety measures. Not completely. They're mm -hmm. still, um, you know, immunity with the vaccine and, and masks still do work, but um, the Delta variant is more contagious. The other thing that we see for instance, if you look at Israel or countries that are very highly vaccinated, is the Delta variant is so contagious it seems to find those tiny pockets of unvaccinated population. So, in, I mean, in Israel, they're at 70, I think 5% of their entire country is vaccinated. That's a huge percentage yes. of the country. And they were seeing herd immunity where they would go days without infections and without any death in the entire mm -hmm. country. I think yesterday they saw like a hundred and something cases in one day and it was all the wow. Delta variant and 98% were unvaccinated. So it's, it's so contagious. Those. It's finding those little pockets of unvaccinated people and that's a big problem. And that's scary and that's how we talk about uh, these aggressive forms of these mutations and these viruses and why right. they're so bad. So uh, talk about now kids because we know mm -hmm. it's as you mentioned a second ago it's more contagious mm -hmm. so they're finding that people are able to catch this within an exposure of five to ten seconds five seconds of right. having an interaction with someone that can have it which can also be asymptomatic again right so you don't know you have it so now kids are many of them back in summer programs and summer camps so now could they potentially be spreading it, getting it, coming home to their parents and bringing it, or grandparents? Yeah, you know, that's a really great question that we don't have all the answers to quite yet. Um, we do see in other countries, like in the UK um, and in India, where this all started, um, that larger portions of those younger populations do appear to be getting sick. So throughout mm -hmm. all of this, we've talked about you know, if you're under the age of 50, it's, it's maybe not that bad. Um, and it continues to be true that under, you know, the younger age groups are by and large doing okay with these variants, but they do seem to be getting it more than with the older variants. Um, and since they're also the ones that are unvaccinated, that is a concern. Um, which just brings us back to, you know, anybody who can be vaccinated needs to be vaccinated to provide as much protection as possible. So, right, so because our kids that are under 12 are not vaccinated, so, right. and now exactly. that could be the ones who are getting it, spreading it. We've been having in the news about Australia being kind of back in lockdown again, mm -hmm. and that's because of the Delta variant. Yes. Do you see something like that happening here again? Well, I'll say that, you know, in L.A. County, they're putting masks back on. Los in Angeles, Israel, yeah. they also went, you know, Israel's been weeks with no restrictions nationwide. Again, they had such a huge portion of their population vaccinated that they had, they were essentially back to normal. Mm -hmm. And now they're putting some restrictions back in place. Not massive restrictions, you know, just some social distancing, some, some size restrictions and for get-togethers and things like that. Um, but yeah, some of these countries that really had gone mm -hmm. much further than we had and had done much better than we had are going back into lockdown. Um, so, you know, it is possible that things could get out of control here, especially as we get closer and closer to fall. I think that's what 
for many of us in the healthcare world, we're worried about the combination of the Delta variant mm -hmm. and school starting back yeah. and the weather turning cooler and people going back indoors. And, and we really worry about what the fall and early winter could be like. No doubt, a bad mixture. Yeah. Real quick, um, mat, wearing masks, I mean, if you feel like, even though you're vaccinated, it, you can still get this. So mm -hmm. if you still feel comfortable, masking and social distancing is important here with this variant. It really is, absolutely, 100%. Thank you. You're Appreciate welcome. All the great information. Of and we'll have you back here soon. Yes. Tell your husband and kids we said hi. We I love the Stacey Fry piece where she was at your family. Oh, at my your kids house. had a great time doing that. Well, they are superstars. <laughs> Thank They're you. darling. They're so great. All right, we're going to set.